in our previous uh, classes we already covered our first unit and uh, the sexual reproduction of flower in plants and uh, uh, what is your uh, sexual reproduction and uh, how it takes place that means how the fertilization is takes place how the double fertilization takes place all these things so uh, today is uh, one of the important topic uh, from the examination point of view and for the board exam and the need also so uh, from this uh, chapter quite a number of tricky questions are also uh, asked to students and uh, a number of uh, uh, examples a number of uh, uh, resembling characters will be learning to this uh, topic are also there so you just uh, focus um, uh, over this uh, topic so the total unit of your genetics is uh, consist of uh, three type of chapters one is your principle of inheritance and variation it, it is your very first topic and second one is molecular basis of inheritance in which you are going to study about the structure of DNA and the structure of RNA the DNA replication all these things and uh, next key the evolution and in evolution you also uh, study about how the changes are expressed that means how the small gradual, gradual and irreversible changes are expressed from a uh, offspring or, or from a generation to another generation that means how the population changes are expressed all these things so these topics are quite uh, interrelated to each other so you just uh, focus uh, every part of this class and every part of this serial sequence and videos so you just uh, take up for one by one you just take up one by one so our first is your genetics so genetics means the top how from where the genetics is coming that means the first genetics is coming by the top is coming by the scientist named William Bates and some books are also wrote in as W Bates and he coined this term in the year of 1906 and the term that is the genetics is coined from a Greek word which means Genesis and Genesis means to become. So, from this genetics, one thing is clear that here is something from which the total generation is changes. That means there is a change expressed from one generation to another generation. So that means you may take uh, one example of uh, uh, from your grandparents to your parents and uh, from parents to the offspring. That means from human beings also. That means I also. That means we are just evolved from one generation to another generation. That means some type of changes are expressed in our genetic level. And the genetic uh, level, that means the changes which are expressed from the genetic level are mainly studied over here in the chapter of genetics. And from the genetics, that means the definition of your genetics told you that it is the branch of biology. That means the definition is it is the branch of biology. We still see. The study of heredity and variance. So here two new terms are added to here. One is your heredity and another one is your variance. Then what is your heredity and what is your variance first? First look up what is your heredity. So it is a branch of biology which deals with the study of heredity. Heredity means it is Transmission of genetic character from parents to their offspring. That means in heredity, uh, in your NCIT book also, a line is uh, uh, wrote over here in your book that if we take an example of a uh, uh, parent, uh, parent of that means a couple of uh, elephants, then it will produce a baby elephant. That means an elephant is produced to a baby elephant. If we take an example of a, a goat. 
it also produces a boot. If you take an example of a dog, it can also produce a puppy. So, from this uh, example, you also uh, get one conclusion that the offsprings are quite equal to their parents. So, the changes which are takes place from this parent, that means from generation to generation, they are only known as your enemy. So, it is the transmission of genetic character, that means transfer of your genetic character from parents to their offspring. That means, if you take an example of your baby elephant, then the baby elephant is the resultant of the transformation of the character from their parents, that means from the elephants, the baby elephant is produced. So, it is the genetic characters from parents to the offspring, that means some of the characters are transferred from their parents to the offspring. So, it is the it is only the heredity. Next thing, what is the variation? Variation means the changes. So, <coughs> changes means what is the changes that takes place? That means you may also take uh, another proverb over here, uh, like begets the like. That means if we uh, uh, plant a uh, mango tree, uh, then we produce mangoes. If we uh, produce uh, banana, then we produce. Uh, if we put, if we uh, plant banana, then we produce banana. So every part, the same thing is produced from their offspring. That means something. That means uh, the generations are changes, and some the resembling characters are same over from their parents or parents to their next generation. So there is also a proverb in Hindi that. Uh, Aam boya hai to aam hi milega aur bobol boya hai to bobol. That means if we resemble uh, a mango plant, if we plant a mango plant, then a mango uh, fruit is also produced. So this in the same way variations means variations means the variety. If uh, we take about this term, it means the variety. Variety means the changes. That means something. Changes over from their parents to their offspring, something is changes. How something is changes? It is the degree of difference in the progeny between the parents and progeny. That means between the progeny and between the parents and their progeny. If we take an example of our grandparents, so consider that here are our grandparents. From the grandparents, if we take uh, father's grandparents and from father's grandparents, Here is your father and your grandparents. <coughs> and in another couple of stages, we just consider that grandparents of mother. And from them, our mother came from here. Nextly, From father and mother, kids are produced, and that we all know. If we take this an example, <coughs> here the grandparents states, couple of changes are takes place from couple of uh, characters are transferred from uh, grandparents to father and from grandparents to mother. And from them, a couple of uh, uh, characters are transformed from us also. So, these are the changes, that means these are the variations that are expressed from this generation to this, from this generation to this. That means these are the variety, that means these are the changes that are expressed from the progeny and the offspring, that means from the parents to the offspring. So, it is the degree of difference in the progeny between the parents and the progeny. That means between the parents and the progeny, these are the progeny, these are the parents, and these are the parents and these are the progeny. So these are the varieties are changes. That means something from varieties are changes. Changes are changes. Some very variations are changes. You may take uh, another proverb over here in Hindi. There is a proverb that Pita Parput Mata Parpura Jala Nikita Thoda that means uh, something uh, changes, that means uh, your father resembles to you, that means parents uh, resemble to us. That means some changes are expressed, some varieties are expressed to express between the same generation. You uh, may take an either example of human being and you may take the varieties of human beings. That means we, we all are not equal, that means uh, some changes are expressed between us. So you may take uh, variation as the example, you uh, 
should not take example of a cow to a human being or a dog to a human being or a dog to a goat, something like that, because the, the species is changes so quickly. So you just take same type of progeny and from their progeny to the parents. These are some of the variations which are there for so here. So it is all about your variations. Then what is your inheritance? Inheritance means the process by which you you might uh, couple of uh, students are just confused confused about heredity and inheritance. These are quite di different things. In heredity, I told you that it is the transmission of genetic character from parents to their offspring. That means here something is changes changing from the parents to their offspring. Offspring, but over here it, it is actually the process. It is the total process, whole process by which. The characters or the traits are passes from one generation to the next generation. That means here total generation are changes with the characters. And from here only, from inheritance and variation and heredity, these three terms are included in your principles of inheritance and variation, which is mainly given by the father of genetics, which is father of being, otherwise known as your Greek or German mandate. And here uh, in our Next session, we just continue with you. Who is your bigger John mentor? Who is actually the father of your genetics? And how the struggle of your uh, bigger John mentor? How he uh, take uh, a number of uh, uh, pea plant? How he studied about the pea plant and number of circumstances uh, by which uh, he just uh, one by one he just uh, gave the principles of inheritance and principle of variations uh, and principle of your inheritance and various of all these things so hope uh, this introduction session is helpful for all of you in our next class we are just uh, take off same stages of your uh, topic that means we just uh, cover the genetics term only and the definition of your genetics and uh, some of heredity and variation with uh, some of uh, examples in our next class we just uh, take off the same thing related to the uh, genetics, uh, which is your Gregor Zermander, that means the father of genetics and its struggle. So, still, stay tuned.